This year's outlaw run, we had a man register and he was 72 years old. That makes me nervous. Not because he's 72. We know lots of riders who are over 70 and riding strong. This made me nervous because he rode mostly dual sport and no single track experience. On the day he arrived, we offered him a 2019 Honda 250F air-cooled bike. I can hear you guys saying, why didn't you give him the 300 two-stroke because it's got more power down low? Maybe I can be of assistance, diddle diddle dee doo Or, why didn't you give him the 500 CR5000 super duper bore out because when you're in trouble and you need some power, that's just the perfect bike to get you out. We gave him the perfect off-road bike, a 2019 Honda 250F air-cooled. Disc brakes front and rear, it's fuel injected, and it has tons of torque down low. It's got a super low seat height, you can easily flat foot the thing, and most importantly, if that man whiskey throttles, he's not going to scare the shit out of himself and get hurt. So when we saw him on the bike the first day, clearly he didn't have any off-road experience. Not that he looked bad, but he just looked a bit tight on the bike, a bit uncomfortable, wasn't moving around a whole lot, just looked uncomfortable is the best way to describe it. And my initial worry started to turn to fear. Not because of what I'm seeing in front of me, but because the weather report says it's going to rain for three days straight. So, as predicted, on day two of a five-day ride, the skies opened up and it started to rain. It didn't matter what happened, this man had a non-stop, smiling, positive attitude. Regardless of the situation, he never gave up. As the week went on, he was facing an increasingly more difficult series of obstacles. He was getting more and more tired. And at the same time, he was fighting an onslaught of rain throughout the week. Super snotty, super slick. Roots, rocks, logs. He has wet gear. Nice one, Greg. Yeah, really, really nice clutch control there. Crappy, wet goggles that you can't see through because they're all steamy. Wet gloves and boots. And if you've ever ridden in the rain for more than two days in a row, you know how absolutely miserable and mentally challenging it is to get your gear on and go riding. Even at the end of the day, when men half his age were feeling weary, our guys who are young, fit, strong men were feeling weary and worn, and I could see it in their eyes. And this man, who's 72, woohoo, couldn't stop smiling. Nice one, Greg. That's good. Woohoo, going well. So he was such an enjoyable person to be around, he inspired all of the staff. It was impossible to be anything except positive with this man standing around you. Our gang is between 30 and 60 years old, and by the end of the week, I swear every single one of us wanted to grow up and be him someday. Every once in a while you meet somebody with such admirable depth of character, you hope to someday be that person. So forget worshipping top riders and racers. We hope to someday grow up and be these everyday heroes. And the best part? He just told me he's coming back next year. Why? Because he said he still has lots to learn. Music